Da da da! It's episode 350! 350! And it's a video spot for. For the polls. Let's go! Well, you gotta stop. Come on, we gotta stop this. <laughs> Hey, we're back, and I'm MP Fox. I'm MC Fox. And we are... Fox Crew Guys! That's right, and today we have a video response. Yeah! Coming in under the wire. Yes. It is for for the okay. polls, and it's directed at the autographed fish, fisherman, John Burgess. I first off have to say thank you very much yeah. um, for having this video response because I wasn't subscribed to the autographed fisherman. I since have been. I've watched his videos. Um, they're a lot of fun. I uh, was watching part of a live video that he did. The guy's got a lot of great information and a lot of great stories about a lot of great players and some players that you seem to have forgotten about. It's all about lots of hockey, so he's got no idea what <laughs> what what it's going on. But what did um, what's this video response supposed to be, MC? Um, we are supposed to show our top five favorite autographs that we have. Keyword. Favorite. 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 Because the ones that I picked, we've got some that are better than this, but these are my favorite. Yeah. Okay, how about you? Same. Same. Because we do have that Willie Mays autograph that is absolutely awesome. And that's, um, you know, if you're talking monetarily, a lot better than any of these. However. Yeah, the Willie Mays autograph. Yeah, the Willie Mays. That's what yeah. I. Yeah. Oh, I thought you card. No, the Willie Mays. Well, I didn't say baseball card. Yeah. We have his name written down there. Yeah. By him. By him. Anyway. We can easily just write down his name. We're digressing. Yeah. So, with no further ado, and we're not even going to show these in any particular no. order. These are just some of our favorites uh, that we've acquired over time and that sort of thing. So, why don't you start by so showing us something there, MC? All right. I'm going to start with... Again, thanks for this contest. <laughs> I'm going to start off with the 2021 American League Rookie of the Year, even though it was like his third season, but well, that's besides <laughs> the point. Our one good outfielder at this moment. The only one that's not hurt at this moment. The only one that's not hurt. Autograph Tops Gold Label Rookie Card of Randy Rosarena. Randy Rosarena, that is an awesome card. And we have to shout out Scotty Aranya because this actually was part of a care package from uh, the Aranya boys. And they got an awesome channel there also. Uh, but that is way sweet. Yeah, way sweet. Well, I'm going to toss one up here. And this is uh, one that I picked up several years ago of two of my favorite Rays. And I really like it because it's uh, two players on this. It happens to be a Bowman Sterling dual auto. And it is of um, Carl Crawford up there. And also Evan Longoria, who I still love to this day. Longo, and I'm glad he's with the Giants. And I sure hated to see him go to a team I don't like. Like, like the ones up on the northeast corner there. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this is uh, CC and Evan, two of the early stars of the Rays. So, of course, we're going to love that one in this house. Yeah. So, I what's your next one there, MC? My next one, I am going to keep the Rays train, even though he's playing the Brewers, and I'm really sad he can't Rays see train. Because the Brewers are coming to the trot next week, but I have baseball camp, so I can't go. It's Willie Adamas. Yep, MC's going to be away at Eckerd College while it's down the road, just a schmidge at a big uh, baseball camp that he goes to. And what, what do you got there that's numbered out of what? It's numbered out of 64 out of 99, Relic and Auto... Panini Chronicles. Yep, and that's got the blue little swatch in there. And, and that that one is gold. It's and, got the gold. Yep, the color. next one I'm going to show is also a Panini Chronicles, and this is numbered out of 25, and it is a red parallel. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, this one, it's got the uh, patch with a pinstripe in it, a little leg piping, and then also Willie Adamas, who still is my boy crush. I love this guy. Um I'm looking forward to watching him play against against the Rays. And there's a lot of love in this town for Willie. Oh, yeah. So it should be really cool when he comes back. And actually, we both got this at Christmas time, which was yeah. really cool. And we actually have two others. Yeah, we've got two other ones, just like it. Yeah. My next card, another Tom's Gold label. Uh, numbered 18 out of 75. Autograph, 
Juan Soto. Juan Soto. You actually pulled that yes, one. Yes, I did pull this You one. did pull that. That was really cool. One of my... <clears throat> technically... Before I pulled it in? I don't know. You were on a big roll there for a while. Yeah. You were even pulling stuff out of blaster boxes. Yeah, and including my next one. Pulling stuff out of your yeah. nose. <laughs> Uh, the next one's not a blaster box, though. But anyway, this one is a Topps Chrome Black. Um, in Lou Rock TV's uh, Relics uh, video response that we just made about the Relic team, I did show one of this player who was a Relic and also an autograph. Now, you can tell on this one, this is numbered out of 150, um, or 105 out of 159. Uh, but this is Rod Crew, and you can tell that this one was signed a little bit later because you can tell by the by the signature there. But I happen this is my all-time favorite baseball player, so I've got multiple Rod Crew autographs floating around here. But this is uh, one that I absolutely love because it's got the Twins baby blue. I love that three-color helmet there. So this this goes with one of my favorites. All right, my next one <coughs> oh my is goodness. undoubtedly the best card that any of us have ever pulled. I pulled it. He pulled it. Yeah, it, if you've watched the channel for at least a year... And I don't know why you well, would. Yeah, I don't know why you <laughs> But if you've watched most of our videos, you already know the card. And you already know that we are huge Ichiro fans. We love Ichiro here as well. And this is a Topps Archive one of one Ichiro signature. Can you believe that silliness? I don't know how we pulled that. I, well, you, that opened, is, the, you that, opened the box okay. and... Uh, not literally... A redemption got, card was there. Ichiro and our Gor Gorman Thomas. Yep, the Gorman Thomas. <laughs> uh, now I'm going to show something. We're big on uh, baseball cards here. Uh, there, we don't have too many football cards. We've got don't have too many hockey. We've got some basketball. Uh, but this is going to be a football card I show. And this was one of growing up, one of my childhood heroes. Man, I love this guy. The big old 44 is a superlatives uh, autograph uh, from Panini. And this is Chuck Foreman. Love the colors on this card. I love the shine on this card. I loved 44 growing up. He still is a class act. And I love that signature. It all plays really well. This one is actually on display in my office. And I love looking at it because it reminds me of childhood. I prefer 44 as in Hank Aaron. but True that. And then now uh, my last. Well, actually, how about if I show this yeah, one? You then you show that, that one, because that's a cool story yeah, behind that. Cool story. Uh, this autograph was um, kind of induced by Mike, the baseball collector. He was talking about, well, he's huge into Hall of Fame autograph collect collecting and collections. Uh, he was showing, this was a while back, of a Brooks Robinson that he got through the mail. And I'm not a big TTMer. I was in Tony Black's TTN contest. Remember when we yes. made sent those out? We didn't do very well. No, no, no. Uh, but he showed this one, and I thought I would try it because I just recently had opened some Allen and Ginter. So I sent one to this gentleman here, Mr. Brooks Robinson, and got that back. And I absolutely love this. And again, it's another autograph like the um, Rosa Reina. And this one, I look at it, not only is it a cool Hall of Famer, it is an awesome looking card. It's a great autograph, but it's also a tie into the community because I would have never done this or gotten it if it wasn't for Mike. So, Mike, if you happen to watch us, thank you so much. All right. Now, this is a cool yeah. story. Right. While he's telling this it, I'll be is, right back. This is, okay, so this is not a car. And so one day we went to a Rays game against the Cardinals. And so we got to our seats. Uh, well, first off, Mom went to just scream at pool holes. Mom wanted to get arrested. I was in the outfield. Trying to catch batting practice. And then right before the game, like when they were announcing people, one of our relief pitchers, Ryan Thompson, was throwing out free gum, and I caught one. Yep, yeah, you got a free piece that's, of bubble gum. Yeah, that's not I know, that's not an autograph. It's but... not an autograph, but I did keep the wrapper. But then at the end of the game, guess who was signing autographs? Ryan Thompson. So I just pushed everybody away, and I was like, Right. <laughs> you pushed everybody away. <laughs> we'll stick with that story. All right. He pushed <laughs> everybody out of the way. Yeah, we were sitting over by the Rays bullpen, and it was kind of neat that Ryan yeah, stepped yeah, over yeah. the stepped over the uh, side fence there, and he started autograph and yeah. throwing bubble gum all over. Yeah. So that was that's a cool story yeah. for that autograph. That's the most recent one that he's gotten. Actually, you yeah. got three balls yeah. that day at the at the Rays game, so yes. that was cool. 
I'm going to close this whole autograph up with another one of my favorite autographs. I know that you said to just give us five. I'm going to give you a sixth one. This autograph has been hanging on my bedroom wall, yes, in the master bedroom, for several years. Oh. Do you know what I'm talking about? I look at this every day, and I just absolutely love it. I'm going to pull it up here. You literally took it down I from literally the wall. took it down from the wall to show it here because I love it that much. Okay. Right here. This is someone's all-star jersey from several years ago. When was it? Seven? When you were seven, eight years old? Yeah. I don't even remember. But here it is. This is his. And you can see it is Mateo to dad. How cool is that? And then down in the bottom corner here is a picture of the old man here, not as gray, and I think that was just when I had my goatee only, I'm not sure, but I was uh, coaching on that all-star team. So we got a picture of father and son in the dugout, and on his jersey that I have with his autograph, I absolutely love it. So that's the number one autograph. This is priceless, whereas you could offer some money for the Willie Mays. No, the Ichiro is cooler than the Willie Mays. The Ichiro is really cool. That's so much cool. You're not getting that one. Yeah, That's no. it. So until next time, thank you for the contest. Um, I will try to put links for, for the polls and um, the autograph fisherman, John Burgess, down below. I'm going to give that a shot, see if I don't mess up and lock up the computer. So until next time, I'm MP Fox. This is me. Yep, and that is him. And hey, I'm just awesome. enjoy collecting. Yeah, do it. Have fun. Do you. Peace. Bye. Hey, we're back, and I'm MP Fox. I'm MC Fox. And like he said, this is a video response. No, we we are we are Fox Crew Cars. Oh, that's right, and we are. No, we are. <laughs> Gonna redo this. <laughs>